Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator episode. This one we're going to be talking about uh, something I mentioned in the towards the end of my last episode covering Publish 6, which is our, which are veteran rewards. Uh, but first I wanted to point out that I stumbled across this character, L. Wook, Master Bioengineer here, who happens to have a, uh, was this a Tusk Cat? No, a Gur Cat, uh, named Cleo, which is... Very similar to my baby Cleo. So, aww, Cleo. Uh, anyway, so veteran rewards are basically in game items that you get for reaching three month milestones uh, since the creation of your account. Now, from what I understand, the, the uh, time frame that Basilisk is, is incorporating as far as the creation of your account goes. Uh, I think is the creation of Basilisk not necessarily your emulator account because I know right now uh, it's it's around it's sometime in 2011 I forget what month maybe it's January or June something like that 2011 uh, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna type slash claim and when you do that, it's gonna first it's gonna tell you exactly how many days you have logged for veteran rewards. So you can see I have 1307 days logged, which is quite a lot. Uh, I know it's there are many people who have more than me, but still, that's a uh, it's not nothing to shake a stick at. Anyway, so then you get a nice list of rewards here that you can choose from. So you may choose one of the items listed below. This item will be placed in your inventory. So my choices right now, and I haven't done any of these yet. So this is a first. Uh, as far as on this character goes, obviously I've claimed someone live. Uh, so my choices are a Holonet tracking console, a sample readout console, a Holonet terminal, a control array data terminal, a miniature replica of a protocol droid, and a miniature replica of an R2D2 or an R2 droid. Now, you there isn't a way to in game see what these look like. Uh, however, you can, if you want to, log on to the Nova test server and claim them there, and, and you can actually see what they look like. Uh, however, it's much easier. I'm going to put a link to a forum thread in the description of this video. People have already posted screenshots of them, um, and there's, there's actually a link on the forum thread that I'm going to be posting to a page, an old archived page from the original, from the Live Galaxies, website that lists all of the veteran rewards there ever were. The only problem with that is a lot of those veteran rewards that are listed on that page uh, were post-CU veteran rewards, which are not going to be implemented in this. Um, in addition to the fact that a lot of the excuse me, a lot of the pre-order bonuses and a lot of the special event bonuses that you are not able to get through Veteran Reward System in live, you can get on the emulator, and I'll, we'll get to that in a couple of minutes. Um, but basically, I've already decided after looking at all of these that I want a miniature replica of an R2 droid. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, your reward has been placed in your inventory, and now you can see I have a much larger list of things to get. Uh, so if I open my inventory, you can say, here's my little mini R2 unit. Aww. Of course, his head is not reflective. It should be like a shiny shader reflective helmet, but instead it looks very gray. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, so now, basically that was my three-month veteran reward. Now I am claiming my six-month veteran reward. So unfortunately, the game doesn't tell you this, and doesn't tell you how many veteran rewards you're going to claim. You kind of need to do a little bit of math. Uh, so if I take out a handy-dandy calculator here, because uh, the game is telling me I have 1307 days logged, and if I divide 1307 by 90, since you get a veteran reward every three months, I come up with about 14 and a half. So, if my math is correct, I should be able to claim a total of 14 veteran rewards, and I'm already a month and a half towards earning my next veteran reward. Um, and the way it works is every time you go up a tier, so from the three month to the six month, you unlock additional options 
to claim, but you always retain the ability to claim the earlier tiers. So if I want to claim another R2 droid replica, or if I want to claim a protocol droid replica, I can still do that even though that was a three month reward. Uh, however, now we have we have many better options. Uh, one per account lifetime, I can claim a crate of 30,000 units of any existing resource, your choice. This right here, uh, right now I believe on the forums is selling for about 5 million credits. Um, I know people are offering, I see, saw in Moss Eisley, someone last night was offering to buy them for 2 million. You can get them for much more if you, if you look for a good buyer. Uh, and I'm going to claim this because this is, uh, if you watch my last episode, when I was talking about the interplanetary survey droids, I mentioned that there is a, a veteran reward that basically makes them obsolete. Uh, this is it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and claim that. Uh, it says, the item you are selecting can only be selected as a reward item once for the lifetime of your account. Are you sure you wish to continue selecting this item? Yes. Alright, so now you can see that that is gone. And here we have even more options. So let's, uh... You know what, let's, I'm going to keep going, and then we'll get back to that a little bit later. Uh, now, you know what, forget it. Let's, let's look at this first. So, it's a, you get a deed. It says a crate of free resources. If you open up the radial menu on this and go to Use, you actually get to choose whether you want to do organic, inorganic, energy. So, let's say, let's look at avian meat, because I know avian meat is a, is a pretty important doctor resource that hasn't been, hasn't had a good spawn in a long time. So, I'm going to click Organic. Uh, creature resources, creature food, no, structural, right? Now that would be bone. Let's try food. Yeah, there we go, meat. And then avian meat. So you can see it's broken down every single type of food, or every single type of resource you could possibly choose is here. Now you actually do have to choose a planet, though I don't think... Uh, Avian meat for, for doctors doesn't really matter. I'm looking for flu. Okay, so here it is. So we have flu. It's actually Nabooian avian meat. So when I once you find the resource that you want, if you press OK, you'll actually get a window that shows you the exact stats that were on that resource before you can choose to claim it or not. Now, how can we use this? Obviously, since you only get one crate per account, if I were to click OK right now, it would pretty much lock me into getting this and this deed would disappear. However, if you're an artisan and you don't need to use this, or by artisan I mean any kind of crafter, uh, instead of using interplanetary survey droids, which as I said in the last episode, you will send out, say, okay, I want to check this planet to see what resources are on this planet. The interplanetary survey droid will return to you a mail listing all of the resources on that planet, but not their stats. With this, you can actually use this to survey. Like, I can find out exactly, if I want to find out what kind of uh, Lokian wild wheat uh, is, is spawned right now, I can actually go flora, flora food, there we go, wheat, under cereal, wild wheat, and Lokian wild wheat. I can actually see, I, I'm guessing this is the spawn order. I'll find out and then I'll let you know. Uh, but if I click on this, here I can actually see the stats of the Lokian wild wheat that's currently spawned. So if you have one of these, you really don't even need uh, survey survey droids because you can pull up the exact stats on the resource uh, from anywhere in the game. So that's a really nice one to have. Let's now let's go back and claim our nine month reward. So now that we've done that, uh, oh, we can also have chosen a, a miniature X-Wing or not, miniature TIE Fighter. Now for the nine month reward, we have a flash speeder. This is what we're gonna be claiming, but let's just look at the rest. Uh, we have six styles of special edition goggles. These were items that you were not able to claim in live, but you can claim on here because they were giving away, given away with the special edition of, of Star Wars, or I think some of them were given away uh, at events. 
but uh, we're going to go with the Flash Speeder because this is actually a vehicle that was only obtainable through pre-ordering the Jump to Lightspeed expansion. And this is another one that you can only claim once. However, uh, with the Flash Speeder... Sorry, Cleo, I'm going to store you for now. Did I put a... Yeah, it did put a deed in my inventory. Oh, no, I already have a maximum number of vehicles. All right, well, we'll destroy this Speeder bike because we don't need it. Here we go. We have a flash speeder now. So the flash speeder is slightly slower than a swoop, but slightly faster than a speeder bike. So it's not going to be as fast as a swoop, but there is a special little thing that you can do with it, um, and that is if you if it gets destroyed, you can type slash flash speeder. And for 20,000 credits, you can purchase another one. So it's not like if you lose it, it's gone for good. You can always get another flash speeder deed by using a slash command, which also means that you will never, once you claim the flash speeder, you will never be stranded somewhere without a vehicle. Uh, because if your last vehicle gets destroyed, you can instantly purchase another one through the game for 20,000 credits which is really nice. No more vehicle shopping uh, ever. So, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, now, for the 12 month, we have... Oh, we have a miniature replica of Lord Vader. The miniature replicas, by the way, they stand about 12 inches tall. They're like an action figure. Um, so they're not they're not very big. They're about maybe the size of your boot. A hollow Knot data bank, more decorative things, a miniature replica of Jabba the Hutt, or a replica of an Imperial Stormtrooper. Um, I really want a, one of these goggles, uh, which is ironic because I don't ever take my helmet off. But I want to get special edition goggles number five. So I'm going to claim that because these actually. It looks like it looks almost like a Dragon Ball Z scouter. It goes on the side of your head, and then this little thing covers your eye, so I can rip it off and go over nine thousand. Yeah. So what else can I choose now? Camp center, small or large, gold ornamental vases, a food cart, or a park bench. Yeah, so there there are a lot of interesting things that you can claim. Uh, this is really as far as I'm going to go with this video, because I think that's pretty much all you guys really need to know. I wanted to make sure you knew about the creative free resources, and I wanted to make sure that you knew about the Flash Speeder. So, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll post a link in the description that should have uh, pictures of all of the possible veteran rewards, so you can go through and pick out which ones you want before actually claiming it. But, uh... Yeah, I hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.